Governments at all levels in Nigeria have been advised to promulgate policies that will aid the survival of small and medium-scale enterprises. The advice was given by stakeholders in Okure at inauguration and swearing in of the newly elected president and executives of Ondo State Chambers of Commerce, Industry, Mines and Agriculture. The governor of Ondo State, Uluaru Timi Akedolu, who was represented by the State Commissioner for Commerce and the Industry, Ola Fagbimi, assured small and medium-scale businesses of the state government's administration and determination to collaborate with them for the development of the state. We are working together with uh, OSIMA to bring the state to this uh, next level of uh, development. We thank God for the newly uh, inaugurated uh, um, uh, president and the ESCO of the OSIMA. Honorable uh, Ayimbo, uh, it's not only the position, it's also uh, uh, an industrial guru. He knows so much about this area, so we're going to collaborate with them to ensure that uh, we bring development to our states. I think we need to you know, you know, increase our advocacy. We need to continue to let people understand that, look, doing business is something that is very important and the government must make sure that they continue to put in policy that will, you know, make, you know, make some do business, you know, to be accessible to everybody, not a situation we are by, uh, you know, in the areas of taxation, we are local government will come and collect us. The same task that is what the, the state will still come and collect from us. All those areas are things we need to work on. Newly elected president of Ondo State Chambers of Commerce, Industry, Mines and Agriculture, Ondo Sima, being a, a rolling called for helpful policies promising to work with the state government for the survival of small and medium-scale businesses. Building the capacity of the small and medium-scale enterprises, of which NASIMA, which I belong to, is a broad base, is a, is a platform that the small and medium-scale enterprise can leverage on and improve their capacity. So the issue is two ways, as I've said. It's uh, the, the people that want to do business and the government, both must come together and fashion how to... Uh, the, the government is not really happy. There's no point hiding other than anything concerning the loan because of the digits, the interest rates. It's always at the high side, and that one is one of the major challenges that we are facing. And the issue of grants, uh, at times when there's a grant, we don't normally get, the grant doesn't normally get to the right hand because of the political system or some of the House of Assembly uh, representative or national body, they may hijack it and give it to their families. It's, I mean, it's starting, it's starting on a very good note. This is the first time we are having an uh, inauguration of this, um, you know, standard, which is a very strong message that he's out for business. Um, I know him very well. Um, I am, we are very, very proud of him. We are going to be supporting him, and we know that he has a plan. Others of the events decried excessive taxation, inadequate power supply, and non-availability of grants are some of the problems facing small businesses in Nigeria. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.